Hi everyone, thanks for joining today's Soundfan 10 Years in Asia Hong Kong User Conference. My name is Kayin. I'm an acoustical engineer working in Acoustics and Vibration Consulting Malaysia, ABCM, Sanjam Berhad. And we are also a member of Geonoise Asia Corporate Limited. Today I'll be presenting a case study that was done by us previously regarding a noise study report of an offshore wind farm project. To introduce a bit about the project, it is an offshore wind farm project in their first phase with three harmonic filters demonstrated in Taiwan. Our job here is to predict the sound that will be emitted and transmitted to the property boundaries during their operation. The deliverables that are expected include noise modeling, reporting, and also the mitigation measures where necessary. To go a bit deeper into the objectives, as mentioned just now, we are here to predict the noise level at the property boundary during the operation of the harmonic filters, and also to propose the noise mitigation solutions that can reduce the noise levels to achieve the noise limits stated in the national standard. With regards to regulations and standards, we have referred and followed both national and international standards deemed relevant to this project. For the national standard of Taiwan, we have followed the Environmental Protection Administration Executive Yuan Order Huan Shu Kong Zi Number 102-0065143 Amendment to Noise Control Standards. And as for the international standard, we have looked into the ISO 96132 Acoustics Attenuation of Sound During Propagation Outdoors Part 2 General Method of Calculation. To calculate for the worst case scenario, taking account for lowest absorption, the environmental condition set in the model is based on Taiwan's summer weather, with an average temperature of 34 degrees Celsius and 80% humidity. This information can be directly input into sound plan settings to be taken account into the calculations later on. The calculation is performed with the assumption that the noise sources are running continuously for 24 hours a day. According to the customer specifications and work scope provided, the involved site is categorized under Class 4 of the Noise Control Standard for premises and facilities. The standard uses LAEQ, which means the equivalent A-weighted level, as the noise measure. It is stated that the sound pressure level emitted, excluding the ambient noise, shall not exceed 35 dBA for low frequency range 20 Hz up to 200 Hz or 60 dBA at the full frequency range from 20 Hz up to 20 kHz at 1 meter outside the boundary of the substation at 1.5 meters above ground level. It should be noted that in this case study, only the noise level against the nighttime limit is assessed. This is because of the assumption that the noise sources operate 100% in 24 hours. Hence, the noise level during daytime, evening, and nighttime would be the same. Since the nighttime noise limit is the most stringent in the noise standard, only the nighttime limit will be assessed here. In this noise study, the noise sources that are focused on are the harmonic filter branches located outside of the substation as shown in this drawing here. This is to observe the noise contribution of the harmonic filter branches towards the surrounding, one meter away from the boundary. The boundary can be seen in the top figure as the double line, also labeled in the diagram as a red color bordered box. In this case, the harmonic filters are labeled as HF1, 2, and 3 for convenience. In each harmonic filter branches are the key noise sources, including the reactors and capacitor banks. The reactors are modeled as cylindrical sources, while the tuning and main banks are modeled as box sources. 
For all sources, every surface is modeled to radiate noise. Input data for all sources were entered into sound plan based on the data provided by the client. Since box sources have been implemented in the model, the LWA input data, also known as the sound power level in A weightings, which was given in LWA per unit, was converted to LWA per meter square in order to suit the assumption that the sources are in box or cylindrical forms. In this project, the modeling was done by using sound plan noise 8.2 in accordance with ISO 96132 to calculate the environmental noise caused by the harmonic filter branches at one meter from the boundary. The noise sources in the model are simulated to produce noise levels based on the noise measurement data provided in the documented noise report. This model only includes the harmonic filter branches as the noise sources, where other assisting equipment or other sound sources are not taken into account in this model. There are two situations in particular being modeled initially, which is at low frequency range and full frequency range. Both situations are modeled to study the initial noise level caused by the harmonic filters when no mitigation solutions were performed meaning no protection walls being applied. The calculated results from here will show if the noise levels at one meter from the boundary are within the noise limits or otherwise. If the limits are exceeded, mitigation measures shall then be proposed afterwards. After modeling the geometric properties of the sources, the receivers have been set as the point or area of reference for calculations. In this case study, we have used the single point receivers, also known in short as PR, to measure the points at one meter distance from the boundary directly to the north of each reactor respectively. We also utilize the grid noise map, in short GNM, to find out the spread of noise sources by observing the contour in each GNM. Just a quick note here that the noise calculations were all done and calculated at 1.5 meter height above ground to satisfy the conditions stated in the national standard. Based on the results obtained from the SPR readings, it is seen that at low frequency range, the noise standard limit cannot be achieved without implementing noise mitigation measures for all points, SPR 1, 2 and 3. As you can see in the table shown, the noise standard limit for low frequency range in this case should be 35 dBA, but the calculated results are all above 40 dBA. Therefore, they do not satisfy the noise standard limit. Whereas the LAEQ values of the full frequency range, on the other end, are all within the noise standard limit even without a protection wall because they are all below the limit of 60 dBA. As such, uh, by looking at the initial results calculated without mitigation measures, we can see that the noise level at one meter from the boundary in low frequency range have exceeded 35 dBA, which is the noise standard limit for low frequency range. Therefore, We've looked into the mitigation measures that can be considered, and in this case, we have considered the noise protection wall, which is also the preferable choice of our client. And to better know about the comparison of properties of the wall, we have looked into both absorptive wall and reflective wall. And due to some of the geometric conditions of the site and the equipments available, there are a few requirements for the protection wall to meet. So for example, it needs to be at least five meter high because five is the closest integer to the maximum height of equipment, which is 4.41 meters available on site. The surface density of the wall should also be more than 10 kg per meter square as stated in the standard. And in fact, in this case, the wall should be having a higher surface density of about 20 kg per meter square. This is more preferable because 
it is useful to tackle low frequency noise in particular. So we started by implementing the absorptive wall that has a relatively good absorptive effect as shown in the absorption coefficient spectrum here. So the absorption coefficient or rather the absorption properties of the material can be selected in sound plants absorption coefficient library or you can input based on whatever data that you have regarding the material. So since we are here to propose, we have selected one that's reasonable from the library in sound plant. So here's an assumption whereby there should not be sound transmission through the wall in accordance to ISO 96132. And at the bottom here, this is the diagram showing the dimension and the wall design for the noise protection wall that we have modeled in, in our project. With the absorptive wall as a protective measure, the LAEQ values at low frequency range are reduced by around 10 decibels, 10 dBA, hence meeting the requirements set by the noise standard. Similarly, the LAEQ can be further reduced to lower noise levels at full frequency range. The results hence prove that the implementation of an absorptive wall surrounding the harmonic filters can effectively lower the noise levels outside the boundary. After proving that absorptive wall works to meet the noise requirements, we proceed to model the reflective wall to observe the noise level detected outside the boundary when the walls are highly reflective. In our case, we have modeled it to be a reflection, having a reflection loss of 1 dB, which means uh, very hard and highly reflective instead of being absorptive. The same dimensions of protection walls were applied to allow accurate comparison. So according to the calculated results, it is found that the noise levels for both low frequency and full frequency range did not change much as compared to the absorptive walls results due to the high reflectiveness of the wall apart from the LAEQ of low frequency range at SPR1, which became 1 decibel, 1 dBA higher than the value obtained with absorptive wall. Regardless of that, all the noise level results are still within the noise limits that are specified in the noise standard. So by using sound plan as the main tool to run the modeling and calculation of this project, we have reached the conclusion whereby the noise level at one meter from the boundary of the harmonic filters at low frequency range 20 to 200 Hertz exceeded the noise limit of 35 dBA. Therefore, it is recommended to add the noise protection wall as the mitigation measure of a minimum 5 meters height and 20 kg per meter square surface density to increase the effectiveness in reducing low frequency noise transmission across the wall. The noise level at 1 meter from the boundary of harmonic filters at full frequency range 20 Hz to 20 kHz now met the frequent requirement stated in the noise standard where the noise levels at each measurement points are below 60 dBA. The use of noise protection though will still further reduce the noise level as shown in the results just now. And finally, the implementations of absorptive and reflective walls give the similar noise results at the boundaries. So that's all from me today. Thank you so much for your time to listen and watch my presentation. And feel free to get in touch with me. And here are my contact details. And also do visit our website if you wish to know more about us. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoys their conference today. Stay safe and hope to meet you soon. Thank you.